Dear Logo user, Logo has undergone significant further development in recent years. Meanwhile, the process image of the logo includes 24 digital inputs, 20 digital outputs, 8 analog inputs and 8 analog outputs. If I want to fully extend this configuration, I reach this extension width. This no longer fits into most distributions. Therefore, the question of an extension cable comes up more and more, with which I can extend logo in several levels. Now, I would like to explain the technical reasons why this cable does not exist. And on the other hand, how logo can still be extended on several levels. You are aware, but there are different levels of tension at logo. There is 230 volt level, the 24 volt level, and there are analog modules. These assemblies may not be mixed at will. For this reason, the modules have a mechanical coding, as you can see here, which is different and allows only permissible combinations. But this means, that I cannot connect a 24 volt extension unit to a 230 volt basic unit. If I now use a simple cable to connect the two lines, the mechanical coding will not work. It also means a significant space requirement in the distribution box, if I still have a plug connection on the side. In order to obtain approved cables, a plate containing this mechanical coating would have to be attached to each connector on both sides. I need at least three different cable types to cover every configuration. In addition, the customer naturally wants different cable lengths. This then leads to very small quantities, and this in turn to a high price. This makes such a collection uneconomical for the customer. How do I arrive at an economic two-line structure? Let's take another look at the costs. One cable plus the cheapest expansion module, four digital inputs, four digital outputs, would cost about 130 euros. If I now use a logo without display instead of this input module, it already offers me eight digital inputs, of which four can also be used as analog inputs, plus four relay outputs, which can be loaded up to 10 amps. All the outputs of the expansion modules can only be loaded up to 5 amps. So I have a much cheaper solution than the cable. I can now start the second line directly with the logo without displaying the new voltage level. I no longer have any problems with the mechanical coding. The connection between the two devices is made with a simple Ethernet cable. And now I have the possibility to do either a master-slave operation, that is, one logo executes the complete program, and the other one only provides the IOs, without editing its own program. Or, I run it in the so-called client-server mode. This means that both logos have their own program and only exchange the required data with each other. This, in turn, has the advantage that the program memory of the second logo of 400 program blocks can be used additionally. So, I can use a much more extensive program. Logo. Ingeniously simple. Simply ingenious.
Siemens. Ingenuity for life.